Hi guys, in today's video, you will learn about pips, what they are, and how to interpret a currency pair's values using pips and the various methods of calculating pips based on the trading pair. This video aims to clarify any confusion surrounding pips in different currency pairs. To fully grasp this concept, watch the entire video. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and follow us on Instagram at AD Forest Academy if you're interested in learning more about Forex. Stay tuned as we delve into the details of what a PIP represents. See you after the intro. Everything in Forex trading is measured in PIPs. A PIP is a unit of measurement used to show changes in the rate of a currency pair. It is the smallest amount in which a currency pair can change. PIP is an acronym for Price Interest Point. Like I said earlier, everything we do in forex trading is all about PIPs. Trade orders are placed in PIPs. Profits are calculated in pips. Even the broker spread is in pips. It's just like the sale of forest. Though, as we go further, you will learn that there are smaller versions called micro pips. But let's not get anything complicated for now. Let's not get to how to calculate it. This is where I need maximum concentration from you all. If you are distracted before now, please stay focused from now onwards. For most currency pairs in forest, we start calculating the pips from the fourth decimal. However, there are few exceptions. We will start with the general ones before we go to the exceptions. From the GBP USD in the picture above, GBP USD 1.3525. Ignore that superscript beside all pairs. The fourth decimal is 5. If we add 1 to the fourth decimal, it becomes 6. If GBP USD, which is currently at 1.3525, makes a move of 1 pip, its new value becomes. 1.3526. Let's have another example. Let's take a look at Euro CHF, which is at a current market value of 1.0822. If Euro CHF makes a move of 5 pips from the current value of 1.0822, the new market value will be 1.0827. Now you may ask, how did we get this? We added 5 to the 4th decimal place number of 1.0822. 4th decimal is 2 plus 5 is equals to 7. The new value is 1.0827. Let's go a little bit higher. I will give assignments for you all to practice after today's lesson. Assuming we were now told that GBPUSD made a move of 10 pips from 1.3525, we would as usual add the figure 10 from the fourth place decimal number and we would have our new value as from 1.3525 to 1.3535. From the second example, assuming we were now told that Euro CHF made a move of 25 pips from 1.0822, we would as usual add the figure 25 from the fourth place decimal number and we will have our new value as from 1.3525. 0822 to 1.0847. Here is the formula to calculate pips. In this case, 1 pip is equals to 0 0.001. 2 pips is 0 0.001 times 2 is equals to 0 0.002. 3 pips is equals to 0 0.001 times 3 is equals to 0 0.003. Take note of the above. Now, for most currency pairs in forest, the PIP calculation starts from the fourth decimal place. Now, there are some currency pairs that are not up to four decimal place. Some of them have specific ways of calculating them. Examples of those pairs are JPY pairs. Examples are USD JPY, Euro JPY, GBP JPY, AUD JPY, New Zealand JPY, etc. Another case is with gold. XAU USD. Let's start with JPY pairs. For JPY pairs, the pips calculation start from the second decimal place digit. From the image above, Euro Japanese yen 126.72. Pips calculation start from the second decimal. Second decimal here is 2. So if the pair makes a move of 2 pips, we simply add it to the second decimal. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. New value becomes 126.74. Assuming Euro Japanese here made a most of 10 pips from that value of 126.72, the 
the solution will be to add 10 from the second decimal place. Number will be Euro Japanese yen 126.82. Take note, in this case, 1 pip is equals to 0 0.01. 2 pips is equals to 0 0.01 times 2 is equals to 0 0.02. 3 pips is equals to 0 0.01 times 3 is equals to 0 0.03. Take note of the above for JPY pairs. Now let's get to the last exception which is gold. Gold is represented as XAUUSD. XAU is the international accepted symbol for gold. Trade carefully with gold. The volatility is the highest. It can move more than 500 pips on a good day. Gold pips calculation starts from the first decimal. Take note of this. From gold pair that I labeled above, the price is currently at 1811.85. If it makes a move of 1 pip, the new value will be 1811.95. How did we get this? We added 1 to the first decimal place number, which is the figure 8. Let's go higher. Assuming XEU USD made a move of 5 pips from that same value of 1811.85. For that 5 pip move, we have 1812.35. This is the calculation for good pair. Take note in this case 1 pips is equals to 0 0.1, 2 pips is equals to 0 0.1 times 2 is equals to 0 0.2, 3 pips is equals to 0 0.1 times 3 is equals to 0 0.3. So that you all can practice the above, I will be leaving you with a simple assignment. Send answers in the comment section. Here is what you need to remember. There are three cases. First, with four decimal place. Here, you ignore the fifth decimal. Second, with JPY pairs. Here, you ignore the third. Third is with gold. Here, calculation starts with the first decimal. Assignment. If USD card at current price of 1.2751 makes a move of 10 pips, what would be the new value? Second assignment, if USD JPY at current price of 105.39 makes a move of 35 pips, what would be the new value? Third assignment is, if XAU USD at current price of 1811.85 makes a move of 15 pips, what would be the new value? Drop answers in the comment section of this video and be patient as you will be answered. Take note of this, in all the examples we have considered, pips were only added to the current values. This is just for the teaching purpose. In reality, if price makes a move, it can be addition or subtraction depending on the direction of the move. Pips are added when you are going long, buying. Pips are subtracted when you are going short, selling. In assignment 1, 2 and 3, please add pips. Take your time to go through this topic. Some may not understand it at first, but with practice, it becomes easy. I hope you now have a good grasp of what a PIP means and how to calculate currency pairs value against another. These are foundational steps to start your foreign currency trading career, so it is essential to have them in your arsenal. Next, we will discuss the concept of bid price and ask price and a bit about leverage. See you in the next video or I will see you there and talk to you soon.